Okay, let's bring it on with some questions. Pat, this is Edna, who says, what is the process for getting a president impeached? Who do American citizens contact to get this going before it's too late? Look, impeachment is almost impossible. You have to write up a bill of impeachment through the House of Representatives with a majority vote, and they have to then put managers in charge of the impeachment process. Then it goes to the United States Senate, where they have a full-blown yeah. trial. And then there's got to be a two-thirds vote. And if you think that the country is divided as we are, like 50-50, if you're going to get a two-thirds vote to impeach the sitting president, it isn't going to happen. So, I mean, just sit easy, and if you want to ask for impeachment, pray the Lord himself will do it, but you sure aren't going to get it. Look what they did with Clinton. I mean, that was just a, a circus. And crazy. I mean, they went through all that process and got nothing. All right, what's next? Okay, I have two questions combined here because they're along the same line. First is from Melissa, who says, I carry a concealed weapon for self defense. I hope I never in my lifetime have to draw it. The commandment, Thou shalt not kill, comes to my mind. What are your thoughts on defending yourself? Would I jeopardize my salvation if I would ever have to defend myself? Um, and then Paul says, If you have a gun and someone from ISIS threatens you, should you shoot and become a sinner or let them kill you? <laughs> what would the, the, the Quaker who was carrying a gun and, uh, uh, you know, he said, uh, uh, well, uh, what if something happens to you and it's your time? And he says, well, what if I meet an Indian and it's his time? <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. We've always felt in the Christian faith that uh, self-defense is a reason to, uh, you know, stand up with weapons against an aggressor. Uh, and I, I think that's still, um, I mean, you're not going to hell if you defend yourself if somebody's trying to kill you. But we're dealing with the deal. In, in Chicago now, this kid comes up to a policeman, but his back is there. They've got video now. And he's walking away from the policeman, and the policeman takes his gun and just shoots over and over and over again at this, un, this kid's got a little teeny knife. Mm -hmm. Big mistake. That's not self-defense. That's murder. Exactly. I mean, but I'm, you know, at least from what you see in the video, I, I, there may be some evidence that I, I don't know about. Okay, what else? This is David who says, I keep hearing a term that sounds like taqiyya, describing some law that says it's okay for Muslims to lie. What is that all about? Well, uh, I've got... Uh, it, it's... Um, uh, lies are permitted under certain description. Yes, one, Zakia and Kitman, and uh, those circumstances are typically those that advance the cause of Islam. So and that's almost like you're exonerated if it's something that. Th that's expands right. It's your part religion. of the, It's in the Quran. It's in the the uh, uh, well. Hadith. Uh, hadith, I, I imagine, but it says, uh, and the uh, disbeliever. Uh, schemed and Allah schemed against them, and Allah is the best schemer of all kind of things. So wow. they're they're making the deity to be a liar. And uh, I, I, you, I've run into some people from the Middle East, and and they just lie like troopers. It really doesn't matter. I mean, if going to a business deal or something, you just can't believe a word they say. Yeah. And well, apparently there there are circumstances in their heart and mind that would make that only acceptable. if it advances the cause of Islam. Mm -hmm. And uh, but that's uh, that's part of the of their faith. Okay. This is your who says I was baptized when I was just a little baby. Now as an adult with renewed faith in Jesus Christ, do I have to be baptized again? Um, uh, the Catholics, Roman Catholics, believe in baptismal regeneration that the parents believe in the efficacy of the sacrament, and that's enough. Uh, those who believe in believer's baptism thinks that having come to Jesus Christ as a believer, you need to enter into baptism. With full understanding of what With you're doing. With full understanding yeah. of what you're doing. That's exactly right. right. Okay, this is Chris who says, I want to know if God could help me get over shyness. I feel like this is why I don't have a girlfriend. Um, you know what shyness is, really? I mean, if you name it, it's itself. You're concerned about yourself. Instead of, you said, don't have a girl. If you focused on what somebody else wants, what could be something good for them, forget about yourself. That's how you get your girlfriend. You, you, you look at this beautiful girl and you say, oh, you're so beautiful. 
maybe I can help you do something. Maybe I can bring joy into your life or something. Instead of that, you're worrying about, well, what's the reaction that she'll have to me? That's self. That's what shyness is all about. I'm concerned about me. And you, you're supposed to forget yourself. Okay. okay. This is Aaliyah who says, there are some people who want to serve God but find it hard to do so. They feel like something is holding them back. Is there something these people must let go of in order to get closer to God? Well, again, what you need to get hold uh, You know, there was a story about that um, Teutonic chieftain who got himself baptized, and uh, he said, I, I, I want to get baptized, but I've got to hold my, my uh, right hand up that holds my battle axe, because <laughs> I don't want that to be baptized. I've got to go to war. Uh, he's holding something back, and uh, that's, it's the surrender. And usually it's a progressive surrender. You need to surrender. And what it is you're holding on to? You're holding on to uh, an addiction. You're holding on to alcohol. You're holding on to sex. You're holding on to lust for money. You're holding on to pride. You're holding on to resentment. Uh, you want to find the Lord, but you won't give up the fact that you hate somebody. All right, all those things have got to go. You put them all on the altar, everything in the blood of Christ, and all of a sudden, watch what the Lord will do for you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, that's all the time we have for Thank today for Bring It On. Thank you for those questions. Thank you, and thank you as well.